Good afternoon, it's Leanne again from River Creations. Thanks for joining me. And it's a glorious day here in the state of New South Wales, um, in the Sydney suburbs of Sydney. And this is where I am living currently. And I have uh, been working on just ephemera, ephemera, ephemera. Anything I can get my hands on and make and create, uh, anything uh, easily and cheaply as possible. And I had this cardstock, this lined cardstock here. And you could make your own, you could just get some cardstock, plain white cardstock, and then uh, just roll some lines on it. It would be just as effective, but I only use this not because of the lines on it but because uh, that's what I had hanging around my desk and I thought I'll just use them up. Now all I've done is stamp uh, and just get a rubber stamp, any sort of stamp. Here's one here for an example. Uh, it's some sort of script. Uh, what do they call this? Rubber stamps. And all you do is stamp something on some paper, cut them in all different shapes, depending on your stamps. Um, these are little, so I cut them little. But this is a bit bigger, so I cut it a bit bigger. So depending on your stamps, they're very tiny stamps, but I had cut them off the way I cut them off, which is bigger. So you can have small ones, big ones, medium size, it doesn't really matter. I've got some examples of here of what I've done. And you just stamp an image on some cardstock or even some paper. And I've cut them down to little sizes like these. They're very decorative um, and very easy, easy to make. So there's a bit of stamping going on, and there's some collaging going on, and then there's some, um, oh, I don't know, what are those? Pastels. Uh, yeah, coloured pastels that I used and I did these name tags as well. I stamped out or whatever they call these. What do they call them? Whatever. I think you understand what I'm talking about. It's just a little name plate or whatever. Um, and I've used some pastels on them. Bring a bit of or introduce a little bit of colour into it. And that's all I'm doing. I'm going to be doing them. Finishing them off because they're very cheap to make, very easy to make, and it was all on my desk, so I'm happy with that. Let me just read what I was using here. These are twisties, or twistable slick stick. And they're just Crayola pastels. They have um, colours, and that uh, deep dye set there is brown um, and they work quite effectively on these cards. You just want to introduce a little bit of colour um, and that's it. Decorate them up so you can use them. Let's just start with a couple. Put them to the side. If you don't finish them all we can go back and do them somewhere else some other time or do them off camera. Now with these here I'm going to use now just a little bit of collaging. Uh, I've got some music here that I can use. Now it is a beautiful day as I said. The sun, there's been a bit of rain around here in Sydney. Um, And all we're going to do is some collaging. All you do is put a little bit of collaging down. Now I have to go over and get my glue. Excuse me. Okay. Alright. Hang on, let's put some glue on this. Now what's everyone been up to? Have you been watching the news? 
Um, have you been watching anything in particular? The female uh, or the women's march today on Parliament. Um, that was interesting. Or they marched uh, in protest about the abuse that they cop in the workplace. Um, and that they're not putting up with it anymore. Um, it was right there with them. So I hope that uh, it was a successful day for them. Um, and question time in Parliament House now. So we're all watching that. Well, I am. I follow politics a little, a little bit. Um, I don't like to get into an argument, but when I see unfairness, it's hard not to chirp up, isn't it? <laughs> Still on those historical rape, rape change, uh, uh, rape charge, uh, not charges, but still on those historical rape um, accusations against uh, Porter, Christian Porter. And uh, I think that's upset why the march is on today. And how can you blame them? Marching. The politicians won't even meet uh, in, you know, groups, or they won't even follow the letter of the law, or the rule of law, I should say, not letter. The rule of law, um, because they throw it back onto some other, like the police, for instance. They have an obligation to, uh, well, they make the laws, so they have an obligation to follow their own laws and their own rules when it comes to things like that. Um, here we go. That's not the first time that Christian Porter has been um, has been accused of something either. So you know the people aren't silly, and they do know when you know there's covers up, cover ups, or when things aren't just right. Um, they know. People know because they've got, they don't forget those things, particularly women. We don't forget misogynists or rapist men. Um, we don't forget how they handle that. We're, we're talking about handling a situation here, not necessarily um, the accusation can be proven, it, it's a fact of how they handle um, the situation of what the public expects. Alright, it's going to be very hard to do, but I'm going to do it. And then we've got um, Michael Samara, Papua New Guinea, um, politician, Sir Michael, he um, has died, uh, now I remember him years ago, um, and the work he's done in cementing democracy and good relations with Australia. Um, um, so he has died, and If you remember, if you can, if you remember that time period, then um, well, you'll understand why it's sad. And uh, how important he was for their country and Australia. I mean, you know, it's a part of our history. He is. And he's a part of cementing 
ties with uh, Australia. Good relations politically as well as country. And uh, so that was pretty sad. I was sad to see him because that's a bit of history gone now in my generation. Um, yeah, so I wonder what everyone's been up to. So we've done that. Now these can be made very cheaply. I mean, who hasn't got paper hanging around? Or, um, this one goes this way. So we've just collaged them. Let's get back to doing our artwork. It's non-political, isn't it? <laughs> and um, I want to get some twist sticks. Let me just get some. And I've got a bit of purple there. I'm thinking about getting some purple. These twist sticks and putting some down there. So I can use. I just want to try something because I'm not sure whether this will work. This is a very wet wipe. Very wet. How did it get to be so wet? Normally they're, you know, wet, but not that wet. Right, we've got purple here. Let's try and put some purple on our... And that is going down like a treat. Wasn't sure whether that would work, but it has. Put some more glue there. What else is in the news? Oh, heaps of things. What about the Western Australian um, election? It's a landslide for Labor, wasn't it? Oof. If we only had Labor in this state, I'd love that. <laughs> but um I'm just gonna put a bit of colour on the butterfly like that. Just put a tiny bit more here on this. Bit left. Colour's good. Let's just do a little bit of blue. So I'm just putting the twist sticks down and I'm using a wet wipe to add a little bit of colour or introduce a little bit of colour. And it seems to be going down good. little bit goes a long way. Almost happy with that except I'm just going to get a little bit more blue. You could use pastels, you could use gel pens, you could use almost anything on this. Now it's going to do a little bit of blue here. Up the side a tiny bit a bit down the bottom. That's not too bad. I do like that. Put the twist sticks back. Now can you see that? It's always good to also put a little bit of yellow. Um, it's hard to see but it certainly is very noticeable the twist sticks. I think it could do with a bit of yellow. Now the yellow is broken, so I'm going to get a little bit of that pigment and put it down. Well, very hard. Oh, there's some. Just fell out, so I'm going to use that. Put 
this is only this wet wipe and get this off and then use it see if I can yes it's sort of the pigmentation is sort of dried up and not working I can't really get some yellow in there that's a shame I'll just do another uh, color orange which is very pigmentated it's very strongly pig pigmented so you're going to get a lot of it so just put a little bit there just to change the color up yeah that works that works really well okay Yellow didn't work, which is a shame. Okay. Now you can let them dry a little bit, but they will probably dry very quickly. Alright, that yellow, I have to buy another twist stick. I'm going to get a big Sharpie here. I've got a big one. Oh. And I'm going to draw... Now you can also machine sew these, uh, edge them, but I'm going to edge them with this big sharpie because I think it just sets the colours. Uh, this is a big fat sharpie, big one, and I'm just going to edge it. I use it. I use a ruler because I want to get those beautiful straight lines. This is not working on this side very well, so I'm going to come in a little bit more and voila, that's it. Really does set it off, doesn't it? These are great cards just to put in your journals, a bit of artistic. Um, you've taken you've taken it from a stamp to a little artistic way of making something, creating something yourself. Use your own flair. Right, it's not too bad except the bottom's a little off. I'm going to fix that right now. Okay. And there we go, there's another one. Very, very simple to make. They really are simple. How about we do one more and then that'll do. And what I was going to do is leave a lot more of these lined areas and introduce colour on this one instead of collaging. Although the collaging looks really great. I love it. It introduces colour as well as a bit of, I don't know, decorating. You could also stamp all these on top again once they dry. Just stamp them. Put some beautiful stamping on them. Postage stamp or any sort of stamp. Script stamp would be uh, really good on that, I believe. I think that'll do because I want to leave that more to the twisties. Let's 
six. Let's get a variety of colors here. Got now. Let's see. I do like this blue a little bit. I think the blue is really good. Let's get a spot. Okay, that's good. That one worked really nice. Let's do a little bit of red. I like the drama of red. I red was my favourite colour as I was growing up. Um, and beautiful colour, stunning. And now it is orange and black, like a tiger. I just like that combination. That looks good. Now, I would like to use a little bit of um, yellow, but the yellow is not good. So let's get something different. Throw it in the mix. Let's try this green, very vibrant green. Oh yes, I'm liking that. I am liking it. There we go. That was pretty simple. Now it's hard to see but it is very effective particularly when you give it a border which we're going to do we're going to give it a black border and it will set it off beautifully if it's still wet let it dry because we might be able to edge it if it's still wet to this side a little bit wider. Okay. No, we're still going to do that side a little bit wider. Okay, that's a little bit better. So you see how it's set off. Now it's hard to see on camera, but when you look at it, it, the pigments are very strong. But when you put it up into the camera, they seem to be, you know, a touch of them. It doesn't really give you a clear picture of what they're like. But, you know, I'd stamp that again. Matter of fact, let's try that just to see what it looks like. move our twist sticks away. And back where they belong. Let's get a stamp going. Let's get that script one that we saw. Let's get our black distressed ink. And you could put washi tape on them as well. Just a touch of wash, washi tape. And just see how this goes. Right, I see. Right. Stamp it. Give it a stamp. Like that. And that looks really good. 
Yeah, it worked really well. Whoops, don't drop it again. Come on. There we go. So you can stamp it. You can put more stamps on that. But that is really nice. Absolutely beautiful. Um, let me see, is this script up the right way? Gosh, my eyes are shocking. Okay, let's see if we can get some ink going. Put that right there on top. It's not too bad. You can see the script, see? Very, very pretty indeed. Let's see if you can see this one. There we go. Very pretty. And as I showed you those other ones as well. Very, very pretty. Now they're simple, quick and easy to make and anyone can do that. Um, all those processes, stamping, cutting out cardstock, using some pigment twisties, um, uh, collaging, all of that is very, very simple to do. So why don't you give them a go? Just stamp something and then use paint even. Wash it on. Just water it right down. Wash it on. Give it a colour. Use one of those water pens if you want or even a paintbrush. It doesn't really matter. And just give them a go. They were very, very simple to make. Very, very cost effective. Very, very cheap to make. So give them a go. I will be using them in the journal journals uh, in the future and um, if you've got a project you want to share it with me please share it with me I've shared some of my projects with you uh, and let me see what you can com come up with you know using that process of what I just used um, love to uh, hear from you I'd love a comment uh, drop me a line don't hesitate to drop me a line, that's fine. Just say hi, love that project, or whatever you want to say. Um, I'll always answer you. So, until I see you next time, bye for now.